You are so beautiful. It's only because I'm so in love. No. <laughs> no, it's because I'm so in love with you. So love has blinded you? <laughs> Well, that's not exactly what I meant. But it's probably true. <laughs> I didn't ask for this marriage. I didn't want it. That doesn't mean that... I don't have a choice, okay? My father will... You would bring that up. Look, this doesn't have to change anything between us. All it means is that... Oh, a oh, real mature, yeah, just walk away. Because that solves every problem, doesn't it? Noble Lord, you are in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. First of her name, Queen of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and of the First Men. The Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea the breaker of chains and the mother of dragons, the reaper of Karth and the bane of Astapor, the destroyer of civilizations and pillager of cities, the taker of nobody else's shit, the biggest, baddest bi I love the smell of you, he said. I love your red hair, I love your mouth, I love your smile, I love your tits. I just don't see what the big deal is. The big deal, Bronn, is that Sansa doesn't want to marry me, and I don't want to marry her. We have no choice. And this is different from every other noble marriage because... I mean, it's not, but the point is the that... The point is that you're one lucky man, my friend. Marry the Stark girl. Treat her well. Then if your father wins the war, you get Winterfell. But if he loses the war, she puts in a good word for you with her brother, eh? Then you'll get to keep your head. You might even get to keep your birthright. And don't worry, I'm sure she understands that out of all the Lannisters she could have been carted off with, you're the best she could have hoped for. Oh, he's short and he's got a big ugly scar and he's short. Oh, we were gonna be sisters. I was gonna marry Sir Loras! Listen, Sansa, we had our plan, and I wish it had worked out just as much as you, but honestly, Tyrion will probably be a much better husband to you than Loras would have. No, no, no! I had it all planned out! I was gonna teach our children all about the harsh realities of surviving the political landscape, and he was gonna teach them all about fashion and hair care! Ugh! It was going to be perfect, but now it's ruined! At least you don't have to marry Joffrey. Okay, let's make this quick then, shall we? This scene has a lot of nudity in it. It's very hard to edit around. And we already did the George Martin censorship joke in this episode. Come on, get his pants off! What are you doing? No, no, please, mercy. No, no, no! No! My precious! Something wonderful has happened. Annie. I'm pregnant. That's... Well, that's, one, that's wonderful. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I know I want you, he heard himself say. I love your skinny legs and what's between them. And then she was in his arms again. His hand sliding under her doeskin shirt to find a breast. Jarl told him to be quick about it before he had to throw a pail of water over them. 